my name is Eddie Tofbig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of Brent Crude Oil and Spot Gold. Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of Brent Crude Oil and Spot Gold. Ice Brent crude oil futures. An immediate countering bearish double yesterday after the previous session's bullish piercing line pattern and almost then bullish double. Once again, the market had faltered at testing the overhead recent 50% Fibonacci line at 90.57 and then tried down to the combination support of the lower time, currently 87.86, of the mid August to early October bullish Andrews pitch rule, highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. And also the number 50% Fibonacci line in November 2020 to March 22 move at 87.41. And not managing to pierce these either, though I do note that they are now separating away from each other. The next support is the October 2018 high 86.67, whilst the next resistance is the Fibonacci congestion between 92.07 to 92.24. I note how the short medium moving average, currently 89.26, is currently not having much impact on the daily chart. Over all of this, how the market has now tested the overhead middle time, currently at 95.83, and the lower time, currently 87.86, of the bullish Andrews picture. So, how it's done that, I'm now paying close attention to any approaches towards either of these two times. So far today, well, a reactionary open higher and a move up towards the 50% Fibonacci line at 9057. Now, the maneuvering area between the lower time and the 50% Fibonacci line is getting smaller and will completely disappear in a week and a half. So something will have to give and probably likely soon as well. Spot gold. A possible higher but indecisive spinning top yesterday, as well as a second bullish white soldier as the market drifted higher to test the September 2020 high at 1992 that capped last week's rally at the end of the week. Below we have the support, after a fashion of sorts, of the November 2020 high at 1965 and the 2021 high at 1959. Overall, we are still set, after the recent moves, for a possible monthly key reversal for October. So, should we close on Tuesday night, the 31st of October, either over 1940 or under 1848, then we'd be on. Anything in between then would have the lesser outside month pattern. Well, right now we are looking at a monthly key reversal up for October. I'd now like to reiterate my final comment from yesterday. It's come to me after a lot of pondering on the action since the past summer that I should look at the action since about August as a potential diving board pattern. Now, these patterns are inherently bullish and such a pattern here may well see a move well above the September 2020 high. So please be aware, especially if it comes after a potential monthly key reversal up. Beyond this September 2020 high, we seem to have little in the way until the 2020, 2010 area and then perhaps the 2040 area. And so far today, nothing much. Either side of yesterday's close and seemingly for the moment capped by the September 2020 high. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.